Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can remove elements in uh, Adobe Photoshop from a person. Uh, in this case I'm going to remove uh, the, the strap to this woman's bikini to kind of spice up the image a little bit. Um, but you can use this however you want, okay? So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and zoom in on the area that I'm going to be editing. And that would be there. And uh, I already made a copy of this layer, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I want to show you from the beginning as if you had just opened this, okay? So you have your background layer, and you are going to go ahead and make a copy. There's a couple of different ways you can do this, but uh, the easiest is to press Control J on the keyboard, and that will make a copy of your, your layer. Uh, another easy way would be to just click and drag that down into the New Layers button on your uh, layer palette, okay? Go ahead and rename that, whatever you want. Um, I'll just rename it Remove Clothes because that's essentially what we're going to be doing. Um, and there's a few different techniques that you can use to do this. I'm going to show you uh, a couple different ways. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and select your spot healing brush or your just healing brush tool. Um, probably the healing brush tool would be better since we're going to do a larger area. Uh, go ahead and check your settings at the top. We want the source to be uh, set to sampled here. and uh, have it sample just the current layer since you only have really one layer that we're working from. If you were in, uh, if you did have multiple layers already you, and you decided you wanted to sample from uh, a different layer, you would want to select all layers. Okay? So the next thing that we want to do is, and actually, why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, I'm going to make just a new blank layer on top of that and um, just to, so it's a little less destructive, we can actually do our healing on that layer. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. But go ahead and go back up to the top and change that to all layers. And that'll allow you to sample from any of the layers. So what we'll do is with our healing brush selected, and if you needed to, uh, if the healing brush isn't on the top, like my spot healing brush was on the top, so what I did is I just clicked and held down and then all these options came up and I clicked on the healing brush tool. Okay. What I want to do is I want to make my brush size a little bit larger. Something about like that. And what we'll do is we'll just um, go ahead and right below the area that we're going to uh, edit, we're just going to press Alt on our keyboard and click once. And that's going to make a selection of the area that you want to move. And similar to like the clone stamp, you can just kind of do that. And you see, that works pretty well. Um, but I'm actually going to undo that because if I zoom in, I press Z on the keyboard to get my zoom tool, you can see that it's not perfect, okay? And um, I think that there's a, a, a better way to do this. So I'm going to show you that next, okay? So in my history here, I just clicked back a couple levels. And if you need that, go up to Window, down to History, and that'll bring up this uh, palette here. And you can click back a couple levels, okay? Uh, what I want to do is I want to grab the probably the uh, polygonal lasso tool, just so I can only select the area that I want. And I'm just going to make a selection of this strap. And I'll just start with just the strap. And leave that... Uh, or this part of the strap, I should say, and leave the knot part alone. For now, we'll take care of that on its own. Okay, so now I have my selection. Um, we will need to select the remove close layer here uh, because um, we're going to be, we, we can't really, with this technique, we can't edit onto another layer. Okay, so what I want to do is with that that uh, copied layer selected, I want to go up to Edit, down to Fill, and we're going to do a Content Aware under the Use here, and we'll leave the rest um, the same, okay? And then we can click OK, and what that'll do is it'll use Content Aware to sample the areas around that strap and kind of just um, replace it with the, the skin tones there. Uh, what we can do to deselect this area is press Control D on the keyboard. And as you can see, uh, I didn't make a large enough selection there, uh, so I will once I will, I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Um, 
So you can see that I have a selection here. One way that you can edit a selection is going up to view and um, oh maybe it's under select and yeah it's under select and then transform selection okay and you can just kinda drag out the areas that you want to expand I'll just drag the corners just to make that area a little bit larger and place it over the top of that strap and I'll double click to, to make that um, take and then what we'll do is we'll go up to um, select modify and feather so we can feather the edges just a little bit I am think I'm gonna do a two pixel feather on that and then we will try that to edit um, fill content aware again so I'll go up to edit down to fill content aware and press OK and as you can see I have the wrong layer selected I'm on layer one so click on that copy and go up to edit fill content aware and click OK and that will uh, that should do a little bit better job okay and I'll press control D to remove my selection and as you can see it did a pretty good job but there are still a couple lines there so I'm gonna go ahead and press Z on my keyboard and zoom in and actually I'm gonna go ahead and leave it this time because this is a good opportunity to show me show you the the last technique that you can use which is simply the clone stamp um, technique okay so you can go ahead and click that other layer that you made again and the reason that I like the clone stamp technique and the healing brush technique is because you can be less destructive. You can make a new layer and do it on that layer. So once again, up at the top, you can sample from all layers with the clone stamp tool and uh, leave all the other um, settings just to default, okay? And let's make that brush a little smaller. You can use your left bracket tool on the keyboard to um, as a hot key to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to work on this spot right here for now, okay? Um, one thing that you can do if you want to to make sure that you're not destroying any other areas of the image is you can create a selection around that and then your clone stamp will only work inside of that selection okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I've selected my clone stamp tool I'm on layer one and I have sample from all layers selected what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a selection right below where I wanna go and uh, I'll press alt on the keyboard to make my selection and click and then I can just move that up a little bit until that line looks pretty good. We might have to do this a couple times to get it really good. Okay, so I'll just click once. And I think what I'll do then now is make a selection above where that bra was. So I'll go up there and I'll press Alt again and click. Make that new selection and come down and just kind of finish that line there. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a bump there. And I'll go ahead and just real quickly show you how you can take care of that. So what we'll do is we'll, um, I clicked my marquee tool just to click off to the side, or you can press Control D on the keyboard, and uh, that'll remove your selection. But we actually want to make a new selection, and with the polygonal lasso tool, we want to follow the line of the back. So we just want to make a few clicks like that, and just follow it and kind of just smooth out that bump is what we're going to do so um, just use your common sense to know where that line should be and then make that selection there okay so now you have your selection you want to select your clone stamp tool and make it smaller by using that left bracket again and make a selection on this uh, on here it's a, a, a car and I'm going to make a selection right outside of where the, the girl's body is and I'll press alt to make my selection and then I'll just paint right over where that bump is on the woman's body to get rid of that and that's where that selection comes in handy because I'm not see I can click in here and uh, you know clone stamp all I want and it won't do it it'll only do it inside the selection okay so I'm gonna press control D and you can see that um, that there's more of a straight line here now you you will want to go in and um, do a little bit more clone stamping now to get that shadow on there and I'll just do just a teeny bit of that so I'll press alt in an area that has the shadow and I would just continue to move up the line like that until it looked all the same and I, I'll go ahead and make my brush a little bigger and actually do that for you guys okay so alt
And this isn't going to be perfect because I'm trying to go a little bit faster for the sake of uh, making this not an extremely long video for you guys. But you would want to certainly take your time and uh, make this look very professional for yourself. Okay. Okay, now that's a little bit better. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And you can see that that looks pretty good. That looks probably very natural. But we do still need to get rid of this, uh, this strap here. So what I'll do is I'll press Z on my keyboard and zoom back in. And I will continue to clone stamp out that line on my new layer. Okay, so I'll press my clone stamp tool make a selection directly below where that line's showing through and click and this is easy you just click and drag across the area there and that just disappeared it blended right in now the uh, one thing that I should have mentioned closer to the beginning of this video which I'll mention right now is that when you're clone stamping you want the hardness of your brush set very uh, low I have my hardness set to zero okay so I'll go ahead and finish up the um, the area here and I'm going to make another selection right above the line and just brush out this part here and then you can see there's still a line there so I will actually make a selection just slightly farther down click alt and just kind of cover up that whole area now if you can see that it's starting to get um, it's not looking like it should just make another selection somewhere and you can take care of that, okay? It's all about small changes and soft brushes, okay? I'm going to make my brush a little larger. Press Alt, make a selection, cover that up. Press Alt, make a new selection, cover that part up. Press Alt, make a new selection, and just click there. And then I can just, you can kind of just continue to do that throughout the line, okay? Alt and click. Okay? And that soft brush just blends really nicely with the skin that's there. Okay? Now that's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'll zoom out and show you what we've done so far. Now you can see um, that that's disappeared. Now the next thing that I want to do is get rid of this, um, this, uh, the, the, the knot there. So I can try my content aware again which really does work pretty good if you have a large enough area selected and you can feather it out a little bit okay so I grabbed my polygonal lasso tool and I made a selection around there and I'm going to select my remove close layer because this will only really work on that layer I'm gonna go up to select down to modify and to feather it I'm gonna feather it by five pixels this time see if that's enough and then what we'll do is uh, once again go up to edit down to fill and content select content aware for use okay and see what that gives you not bad okay now I gave you the rest of the strap here but uh, what we'll do now is we will oh, and you can see that the the blending is not perfect as well so what we can do is we can uh, we can clone stamp that but I'm gonna go ahead and content aware the rest of this strap off if I can I'm going to work a little faster now, since you guys have the basic idea here. And I'm just doing the same uh, step I did last time. So I just selected, and I went up to Edit and Fill and Content to where was set there. Okay. I press Control D on my keyboard to remove my selection. See, it's not perfect. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in, and we'll select our layer one to be slightly less destructive. And what we'll do is we'll get our clone stamp out like we had before and we'll make it a little larger just to get this going a little bit I'm gonna make a selection right outside the area that's a little bit discolored and I press alt on the keyboard and click I have all layers selected at the top and I'll just blend as you can see that's not perfect but you can get it more perfect by making more selections okay so just Click Alt and select and click around the edge. Alt, click, and then click. Alt, click. Make sure that you take the shadow parts and you get those moved into the area that you're editing. 
that's kind of a big thing that people forget. So I click on, there's this little area where there's a shadow on one side and kind of a shimmer on the other side. So I'll press Alt, click, and then come down here and just kind of move that, and continue to move that line down the body. Now, as you can see, there's a few spots there that um, that are going to be duplicated since we're cloning it. And we'll go back and fix those in a, just a brief second here. And that's starting to look pretty good. I will just kind of blend a couple more spots just to make it look a little more realistic. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, um, and like I said before, uh, let's go ahead and finish this area as well, real quick. Okay. And same over here. Alt, make my selection, click and drag. And uh, actually, I kind of made a mistake there, but it kind of works out because it kind of looks like a little bit of a bust line there. So I think I'll leave that just for now. And if it, if it looks good later, we'll just go ahead and leave it. But um, what I was going to say just a second ago, as you can see, there's three little spots here that as I was cloning, um, they got moved down. So what we'll do is we'll take our spot healing tool, which is under the same thing as the healing brush tool, but it's, uh, it's very good at uh, just healing spots. So what we'll do is use the content to wear setting. We can sample all layers again, and you can just click right on top of those spots, and that, that tool will just remove them. Okay, and that goes for any time that, uh, that your clone stamp kind of duplicates an area that you don't want. I'll go ahead and zoom out at this point and show you what we have. Now, you see that doesn't actually look that good because um, her bust wouldn't be showing that way. It'd be showing more on this side. So if you wanted to kind of recreate that over here, that would look good, but not on this side, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just quickly fix that, and what you'll do is once again just sample from like right here with your clone stamp, or any of the other methods that I've showed you, but the clone stamp works really good for this kind of thing. You can just kind of um, move up the body. Or actually, I think, I think what I'm going to do is, since this is such a, a difficult area, I'm going to make a selection with my polygonal lasso tool, just following that line once again like we did earlier, just going to the inside of the body this time. And then I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool and make a selection pretty close to the edge. And that should do it. Alright, now that's pretty much the technique. Thank you for watching. I'll show you what we started with. There we go. And what we ended with. And thanks again.